Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're reviewing a Chrysler Pacifica Pinnacle Hybrid. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in Provo, Utah, for giving me some time with this Pacifica. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a hybrid 3.6 liter V6 that's paired to an electronically variable transmission. Power outputs are about 260 horsepower with the MPGE rating being 82. The MPG rating without any sort of hybrid assist whatsoever is 30 miles per gallon and this can go 32 miles on a single charge with the electric setup. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So taking a look at the hood, you guys can see the distinctive lines that pop down and then you can see on either side as well. And then we've got the Pacifica signature headlight design, pretty angular looking and then I like this little trim piece down below. You can see the brushed finish here with the center. Notice how the grille is mostly blacked out. And putting it all together, you can tell that this is definitely a luxury minivan, at least with the trim pieces they're showing. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 235, 60, 18 on the front and over on the rear. And you guys can see here with the wheels on the coloration, again, it has kind of more of an upscale appearance. And then got our pinnacle badge here on the side and then more of that brushed trim. Same thing on the mirror caps and then with the window trim as well. And putting it all together, there is your side view with the pinnacle. Now take a look at the key fob, we have our lock and unlock function, we got the opening for the hatch, remote start, the opening for the doors, as well as the Chrysler logo in the back. Now popping into the cargo area, first off I like how the straps are all nicely labeled for the seats if you want to do the stow and go setup so you can fold the seats down into the cargo area. But yeah, I mean just like most minivans, it is pretty dang spacious back here. We also have a 12 volt as well. And when you're all done with the rear, just press that button and that will lower the hatch right back down. And then we've got this cool light bar design here in the rear with the Pacifica and then you can see e-hybrid badge down below and the Pacifica badge on the other side. And putting it all together, let me you guys think about the looks here with the Pinnacle. Now something to note before I touch base on the seats, the side doors and the rear hatch all have the kick function where you can put your foot underneath to open up the door. Pretty cool feature. But anyways, here are the seats themselves. You can see they're really nice perforated trim there and then the stitching and piping as well and then once you're in the back here you find that legroom's good we also have a little storage pocket down below you got tvs in the back with this one we also have sunshades here and i like how the door matches the two-tone coloration with the seats i think that's a pretty nice design detail we also have our own climate zone here in the rear and then headroom back here it's also good now in the third row i'd say you could comfortably fit adults back here we get sunshades here in the rear which is cool. And then look at these seats in the back. They're just as nice as the second row. So I think that's cool that they didn't cheap out with those. And then headroom back here, it's good. Now take a look at the front door panel. You guys can see soft touch here and down below. We also have all of our window controls. Notice all of them are automatic. Power folding mirror function, got memory seats, and then the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And then take a look at the front seat, you can see perforated all down the center portion. Got the cool stitching design, all of our adjustments here on the side. Got our light controls here with the fog light, and then notice all the soft touch trim on the dash. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, we've got nice soft touch trim all around. We also have rear controls on the back. We've got our cruise control with our adaptive cruise control. I like the contrast and stitching as well. Controls to the center stack, voice command, phone controls as well. And then you can see the stocks here on the back. And then here's a look at the gauge cluster itself. Um, you can see the analog elements on either side and I like how this gives you information on what's happening with the hybrid system. We do have the main screen, which you can see different bits of info on systems within the vehicle. Pretty user friendly. Now we also have a 360 camera system here with the Pinnacle. So that helps out. I mean, the minivan's got really good visibility out the windows, but still a big vehicle. So it's nice to have a 360 camera system. And then as for the infotainment system, it does have a plastic cover on it. So it's kind of getting in the way, but notice we got heated and ventilated seats as well as heated steering wheel. And overall response time with the screen, it's pretty good. It does take a second for some of the pages uh, to load up. So just be aware of that. 
And then down below you guys can see we've got our dial shifter here with the parking brake. Got some animal controls for like the radio, your parking assist, parking sensors, lane departure as well. Climate controls down below that. And then we got our Blu-ray player here. And this is what I'll call our charging area. And you can cover it up very, very slowly. That is like almost obnoxiously slow. That's hilarious. Some cup holders here. And then you guys can see with the center console, good storage. And I like the trim on this. And speaking of storage, there is more storage underneath the center console area. So like under that whole section. And then it comes to the glove box, pretty normal. And then last but not least, we do have a panoramic center and we've got a nice premium headliner with a pinnacle too. Now there's a bit of glare, so it's kind of hard to see the window sticker, but anyways, total MSRP is 62,820 bucks with this Pacifica pinnacle. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off, and I'll move that up a little bit. So here's visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, do a blast monitoring throughout the rest of the rear. And Pacifica Hybrid Away. Pacifica Pinnacle. This is like the luxury minivan. I mean, you know, you do have luxury packages with the other automakers. I think the other automaker that comes the closest to this uh, would be Kia with the higher end packages on the Carnival. Um, but yeah, I mean, especially when you compare it to Toyota and Honda, this just definitely has a more upscale feel. And so I think it is fitting that they gave this the uh, Pinnacle nameplate. Um, so even though I don't really have a whole lot of uh, state of charge right now, um, it is in fully electric mode right now. And it's a seamless system. It's very smooth. And I'm driving this how I think someone would drive a minivan. Well, I should say how I think the mother would drive the minivan because uh, we all know that when dads are in minivans, <laughs> they always drive way too fast. It's like a, it's like a cliche. It's, it's like because they're in a minivan, they have to compensate by just driving overly aggressive. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you see, if you see dads driving at the, at the wheel of a minivan, it's, it's always, it's crazy. Like I, we went down to a, uh, St. George a month ago. This is completely unrelated to the review, but I think it's funny. Went to St. George a month ago, and we're going pretty quick, and this minivan just just goes by so fast, and I'm like, what the heck? And then we kind of catch up a little bit later, not because we drove faster, but because they they finally slowed down, and I seen it's like a middle-aged man driving it. I'm like, yep, that's that's the cliche. <laughs> Anyways, super smooth. Uh, seats are comfortable as well, and. I mean, yeah, with that, not having any state of charge, it still seems to be just rocking the electric side of things, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, I like how smooth the system is. I think that's one of the big positives with this system, but we'll get acceleration here. This will turn on the engine. Decent. I mean, it's not like, I wouldn't call it insanely fast or anything, but it's got some, it's got some get up and go. It's good enough for a minivan. I like how smooth this is. I actually really like this hybrid powertrain. Um, it kind of reminds me of the, and it makes sense because it's got an electronically variable transmission. So, it, you know, similar transmission to what they use in the Toyota hybrids. So I think that's pretty cool. But something's up here with the Pacifica Pinnacle Hybrid. I actually like the looks of the Pacifica. I think it's one of the better looking minivans. Um, it kind of tries to look less like a minivan, similar to the Kia Carnival. And then in terms of the interior, this interior is really nice, again, for a minivan. Um, but I like that there's still some practical elements, like this stuff here on the door panel, um, it's gonna hold up better over time than like the smoother textured stuff they would have put that everywhere. So I think that's uh, smart that they did that. And frankly, at least from my personal experience, this is easier to clean. Um, and off if it gets dirty and all of that. So I think that's a plus. Um, but yeah, so really cool interior for a minivan. It drives well. Yeah, I like it. And then the, you know, having the fully electric range, I mean, think about, yeah, you just charge it at home. And so if you're going you know, just to the local grocery store or something close by, then you don't have to fill it up with gas. Um, I will say like, I feel like I'm getting super personal in this video. But with, with my wife and I, like, um, we use a, a specific uh, card to pay for gas. And 
that card happens to be on me all the time. <laughs> and so like my wife's always having to, you know, whenever she's like almost out of gas, it's like I have to then go and fill it up. And so if, if we had a vehicle that was like a plug-in hybrid like this, cause she does a lot of short trips within town, that would be really cool. So I don't know, I have, I guess I have a greater appreciation for minivans now that I have a kid and we might have more coming on the way in the future. Um, and I also have a, kind of a greater appreciation for plug-in hybrids based on the utility they provide. But let me know your thoughts on this.